This video is for parents those who are doing practice about cost to their kids. You can make this type of worksheets at home and, and make your kids to practice at home. It is important to practice activity worksheets after learning any concepts. In this video, I am going to share some worksheets based on the bead value concept. I have already posted a video on how to count beads on abacus. If you have not watched that video yet, video link is in description. You, you must check it out. Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to solve some questions. See here beads are already drawn on the rod. You have to only write the beads value. So in the in first question, three lower beads are placed on the one's rod. So as you know, each lower bead having the value of one. So one plus one plus one. It is three. So one plus one two plus one three. Here, one upper bead and lower beads are touching to the value bar. One upper bead having the value 5. 5 plus 1, 6. Coming to the next question, 5 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 7 plus 1, 8. So, here the bead value is 8. The next question, here only here on the one's rod only one lower bead is touching to the value bar. So here the bead value will be 1. Coming to the next question, on the tenth rod one upper bead and three lower beads are touching to the value bar. So 5 plus 3 is 8 on the tenth rod and 5 plus 2 7 on the one's rod. So here the value here the bead value is 87 see on the tenth rod four lower beads are touching to the value bar so four will be here on the one rod one upper bead and four lower beads are touching to the value bar so, so five plus four is nine so 49 will be the bead value here coming to the next question on the tenth rod five plus one 6 will come here and on the one rod only one bead is touching to the value bar so 61 will be the bead value. Next question on the tenth rod only one upper bead is touching to the value bar so 5 and on the one rod also 5 so here the bead value will be 55. See here only two beads are touching to the value bar. So two will be here on the one slot. Three lower beads are touching to the value bar. So bead value will be 23. Here 5 plus 2, 7 will come on the tens place and 1 will come on the ones place. So 71 will be the bead value here. We will be solving some more questions on the identify the beads. So here on the one slot, one upper bead and one lower bead are touching to the value bar. So 5 plus 1, 6. On the 10 slot, no bead is touching to the value bar. So 0 will come on the 10 slot. Coming to the next question, on the 10 slot, one upper bead is touching to the value bar that is 5. On the one slot, only one lower bead is touching to the value bar. So, 1. 51 is the bead value here. Here on the one slot, only two lower beads are touching to the value bar. So, value will be 2 here. See, on the tenth slot, only one lower bead is touching to the value bar. 1. And here on the one slot, also one lower bead is touching to the value bar. So, bead value will be 11 here. In the next question on the tenth rod, one upper bead and one lower bead are touching to the value bar. So 5 plus 1, 6, and here only one upper bead is touching. So 65 will be the bead value here. 
the next three rows are the worksheets for you solve it and let me know in the comment section how did you do it this is the second activity worksheets for bid values so here the bid values have already given here we have to draw the bids for this given bid value so here the bid value is 2 2 is a single digit number 2 is a one digit number so we need to draw the bids on the one slot only so coming to the next question here the bid value is 9 so i have to draw one upper bid and four lower bids one two three and four next question the, here, here the bid value is four so i have to draw four lower bids on the one slot In the next question the given bid value is 37 i have to draw three lower bids on the tens place because three is in tens place and now i am going to draw three lower bids on the tens rod here seven is in the ones place so i will draw one upper bid and two lower bids so 5 plus 2 is 7 now it is 37 here the bid value is 92 i will draw i will draw one upper bid and four lower bids on the tens rod 1 2 3 and 4 5 plus 4 9 and 2 on the one rod 1 and 2 so 92 next question here the bid value given here the bid value is 15 so 1 is in the tens place and 5 is in the ones place so i will draw one lower bid on the tens rod and one upper bid on the ones rod for 92 I will draw one upper bid and four lower bids. Two is in the ones place. I will draw two lower bids on the one slot. So for 57, I have to draw one upper bid because the upper bid carries the value of five and 7 on the one slot so one upper bid and two lower bids on the one slot so now this bid is showing the number 57 <coughs> so in this question the bid value given here is 65 so i have to draw one upper bid and one lower bid at the 10 slot now it is 50 plus 10 60 one slot i will draw one upper bid then in the last question here the bid value give here the bid value is 78 so i need to draw one upper bid and two lower bids now it is 50 plus 20 70 then 8 is in ones place i need to draw one upper bid and three lower bids now it is 78 this is again one more worksheet for draw the bids let's solve it first question is here the numbers given here is three how many bids i have to draw here i have to draw three lower bids one two three coming to the next question here the give the given value is eight 
how many bits I have to draw it, how many lower bits and how many upper bits. I am going to draw one upper bit and three lower bits. 1, 2 and 3. So, 5 plus 3 is 8. Next question is, next number is 22. So, in tens place I have to draw 2 lower bits and in the ones place I have to draw 2 lower bits. So, on tens third I am going to draw 2 lower bits and on the ones third I will draw 2 lower bits. Next number is 78. Edge 7 is in tens place. So, I will draw 1 upper bit and 2 lower bits. 5 plus 2 is 7. In the ones place, I have here 8. So, 1 upper bit and 3 lower bits. Now, 70 plus 8, 78. Next number here is 15. I will draw 1 lower bit on 10 rod and 1 upper bit on 1 rod to represent 15. Next number is 5. I will draw one upper bit on one start. Next number is 58. So, 5 for 8, one upper bit and 3 lower bits. Next number is 96. 5 plus 4 lower bits. 1, 2, 3 and 4. For 6, 1 upper bit and 1 lower bit. Next number is 34. I am going to draw 3 on the tens rod and 4 lower bits on the ones rod. Next number is 62. I have to draw one upper bit and one lower bit on the tens rod and two lower bits on the ones rod. These two these two rows are the homework for you. So solve it and let them know in the comments how did you do it. Hello parents, I would like to suggest you here if your child is five to six years or your child is just on the first step towards the abacus learning, don't let them to practice one digit and two digit numbers counting at a time. First let them to know counting the numbers from 1 to 5 for some days. Then make the worksheet on identify the numbers and draw the beats for the numbers 1 to 5. When your child will be confident in that, then you can proceed for 5 to 10. Likewise, you can make the worksheet for them. If you find this video is helpful and informative for you, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.